this is a graceful watchman. Let me start the video with a disclaimer. This video is for those who already know that the United Nations is not what it claims to be. This video is for those who already know there are a group of powerful men working behind the scenes to create a one world government. If you do not already understand this concept, then this video is not for you. And I will encourage you to delve into that subject before watching this video. There are plenty of YouTube channels, this one included, that provide more than enough information on the New World Order. While writing this, I feel the need to address a document. A document that has set the world on fire many times. This document is called the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. William Cooper wrote in his book, Behold the Pale Horse, that, quote, This has been written intentionally to deceive people. For clear understanding, the word Zion should be replaced with the word Sion. Any reference to the Jews should be replaced with the word Illuminati. And the word Goyim should be replaced with the word cattle, end quote. This can be found on page 267, chapter 15 of Behold the Pale Horse. Let's take a look at, at how this document came to be and the history behind it. In 1798, a French clergyman and Jesuit named Augustine Barou, excuse me for the pronunciation if I got it wrong, wrote a book named Memoirs Illustrating the History of Jacobism. In his book, Barou wrote that the French Revolution was a product of shadowy and secretive secret societies, such as Freemasonry and others. No Jews were mentioned in this book. Barou then received a copy of a letter in 1806 from J.B. Simononi an army officer in Florence. He claimed to infiltrate a Jewish sect in Italy and claimed that the Jews promised themselves in less than a century they would be the masters of the world. End quote. He also claimed other things, like that this Jewish sect created Freemasonry. In 1868, a fictional novel written by Hermann Goetsch Again, excuse the pronunciation, I probably got that really wrong. A Prussian postal worker, which plagiarized a French satirist, Maurice Jolly's book, Dialogue in Heaven between Machiavelli and Montezzi. Herman Goetsch added a chapter named At the Jewish Cemetery in Prague. The actual Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion was written anonymously and serviced in the late 1800s. It was pretty much a plagiarism and combination of all the works I had mentioned earlier. And I believe it was a Jesuit conspiracy to place the blame on the Jews. In order to understand the New World Order, you have to understand that historically there have been two quote, Illuminati's, end quote. One, the Vatican, and the other, Freemasons, along with other secret societies. Now I can go on and on and on into more detail about both, the rivalry between the Vatican and the Freemasonries, and I can go on also about the Protocols of Zion. But you must do your own research, and this is simply not the point of this video. Now, Let's move on to talk about the United Nations. I will not go into detail about the founding of the UN and how it plays into the plan of the New World Order. This information is obvious and is very accessible to anyone who wants it. In 1871, Albert Pike wrote a letter to Giuseppe Mazzini. The letter is well known by New World Order researchers today about three world wars. In part of this letter talking about the Third World War, Albert Pike states that the Illuminati will start World War III by taking advantage of the disputes between Arabs and the State of Israel. 
Knowing this, we can find it obvious why UN General Resolution 181 was passed, which called for the current territory of Israel to be partitioned half and half as an Arab and Jewish state. Following this resolution, Israel accepted it, happy to finally be a country again. The Arabs, well, we can all guess what happened. They went to war, and Israel fought all five armies and won, an act from God in my opinion. And here starts the condemnation of Israel by the United Nations. From 1955 to 2013, the United Nations has condemned Israel in 77 resolutions and has only condemned the Palestinians in one. In the year 2016 alone, the United Nations passed 20 resolutions condemning Israel, and only 6 on the rest of the world. Surely Israel is not worse than countries like China imprisoning Christians for their faith, or countries like Africa committing genocide on their populations. Is Israel really worse than the rest of the world combined? Or does the United Nations have a secretive and evil agenda? This means that since Israel was reborn as a nation, it has been condemned by the United Nations at least once a year. The United Nations has condemned Israel in about every way possible and for the same things multiple times. So you, as an Illuminati researcher, need to decide who is the good guy, the United Nations or Israel? We know that the plan of the Illuminati is to destroy all nation states and all religions. We know that they want to open all borders. We know that they want the dismantling of all militaries. We know that they hate patriotism and nationalism and want people to identify themselves not by nation, not by ethnicity, but as people of the world." End quote. And don't you see? Israel is in opposition to those goals. Israel has a strong military. Israel has strong patriotism. Israel has border security and fences. And Israel continually defies the United Nations. Why would the center of all evil in the world tell the United Nations to screw off multiple times and ignore them? Why would the promulgators of the New World Order create a patriotic and very sovereign nation that does what it wants and doesn't care about what anyone else thinks? The answer is it wouldn't. The Illuminati is so desperate to create a UN peacekeeping force and open all borders as we've seen in Europe. Now time for a disclaimer. I'm not saying Israel is perfect and is totally against the UN. We can see evidence of Illuminati infiltration in the Israeli government, as we have seen in all governments. We see evidence of this in the new Israeli Supreme Court built, in the digging under the Al-Aqsa Mosque, an attempt to build the third Jewish temple. The facts are this. The Illuminati helped in the creation of the nation of Israel. The Illuminati condemns the nation of Israel through the United Nations and wants to stir up violence against Israel by all the nations of the earth. World War III will center around Israel, and from the ashes of that war, the Illuminati will set up a one-world government inside the nation of Israel. With the Antichrist leading this government, set himself up in the third Jewish temple as his headquarters. We can see that the new Israeli Supreme Court will be the New World Order's headquarters of their judicial branch of government. They will accomplish this by creating wars against the Jewish state then calling the United Nations forces to force peace upon the country, ushering in the New World Order. They will accomplish all of this by fooling the people, including people like you, who claim to be New World Order researchers. They will accomplish this by getting people to hate Israel. The New World Order won't be Jewish. The Jews will be slaughtered once the One World Government is set up on their land. They will replace the Jews with their own race. And by the way, the one world religion will not be the Jewish religion either. It will be the Baha'i faith, which already has its headquarters in Haifa, Israel, and is the only religion recognized by the United Nations. How about that for convenience? 
do your research, and stop being deceived. Year after year, I've stood at this very podium and slammed the UN for its obsessive bias against Israel. And the UN deserved every scathing word for the disgrace of the General Assembly that last year passed 20 resolutions against the democratic state of Israel and a grand total of three resolutions against all the other countries on the planet. Israel 20, rest of the world three. And what about the joke called the UN Human Rights Council, which each year condemns Israel more than all the countries of the world combined. As women are being systematically raped, murdered, sold into slavery across the world, which is the only country that the UN's Commission on Women chose to condemn this year? Yep, you guessed it, Israel. And this uh, circus continues at UNESCO. UNESCO, the UN body charged with preserving world heritage. Now, this is hard to believe, but UNESCO just denied the 4,000 year connection between the Jewish people and its holiest site, the Temple Mount. That's just as absurd as denying the connection between the Great Wall of China and China. Israel will not permit any force on earth to threaten its future. And here's my message to all the countries represented here. Whatever resolutions you may adopt in this building, Whatever decisions you may take in your capitals, Israel will do whatever it must do to defend our state and to defend our people.